This is Black Culture Court TV, where you can get a black slap if you disrespect the culture. Yes. <laughs> what is the foul fingers? Say it in the face. What? <laughs> yes, if you disrespect the black culture, the culture will let me know what? and ask me to decide if the occupants should receive a black slap. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough with the clapping. Yes, that is what I do. Now, the case that has been brought to me is Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick was supposed to have a session where he basically demonstrates to the NFL if he is still capable or still has have the skills necessary for one of the NFL teams to pick him up. Okay. <laughs> they want it for Kaepernick to be at a specific location on Saturday. And Kaepernick decided that no, he will not be at that location he decided to choose his own venue because I guess he felt like the NFL stipulations weren't conducive to, um, weren't conducive to, I guess, being av advantageous for him. Okay, so 32 NFL teams were supposed to show up. But being that he changed the venue, only seven of them showed up. Which, hell, he only needs one team. So even if seven or eight showed up, that's still good. <laughs> but Kaepernick bossed up <laughs> and had his own demands. And you know what? I can't blame him because... The NFL, they have all these lawyers and everything, and anything they do is in their behalf. And they already blackballed him for three years. Now, why do, do they want to consider him now? Why? The only change is that Jay-Z is a part of the NFL now. I'm not for sure in what capacity, but that has been the only change in the last three years. So is that the reason why they put this uh, session together? I don't know. But Jay-Z hasn't spoken out yet. So it would be interesting to hear Jay-Z's POV. So come on, Jay-Z. So we can put this puzzle together and find out if the NFL was legitimate and if there was any integrity in what they were doing. Now, do I fault Kaepernick? No. Am I going to give Kaepernick a black slap? And no, I'm not. No way. You know why? Because I think Kaepernick can see in between the BS. I mean, first of all, how come... Kaepernick didn't know that this session was going to occur when they planned it. How come he found out the same time basically everybody else found out? How come they didn't take their asses into the all Oval Office or the conference room <laughs> where they decide and discuss all of their other ventures right or where they make their decisions how come they couldn't respect Kaepernick enough to hey send him a letter or have his reps call his reps or himself 
and let him know, hey, we want to set up this session with you. At least they would have shown some type of uh, integrity, integrity that would make Kaepernick think that, oh, the NFL finally wants to right their wrong. They could have easily done it, but no, they want to treat him like, because he's black, like a boy. They want to treat him like a boy, not like a, uh, not like someone who they respect. We know how that works. We know how uh, business meetings work. Many of us, all of us mostly have worked nine to fives and have been caught. Hell, when he was called, <laughs> when you get laid off at work, they, right? They have the meeting and you're in the conference room so they can tell you that, oh, you've been terminated. <laughs> they could have at least called Kaepernick, sent him a letter, contacted his rep and said, oh, we want to speak to you on this day. Gave him all the information he needed. He could have absorbed everything. And maybe two or three weeks from that date, then they said, oh, okay, well, we'll have the session then. That would have been easy to do. How come it was so hasty? How come only two days? They don't just think about these things in two days. They probably were discussing this probably... 30 days prior, maybe even 60 days, maybe even 90 days. But no, they want to treat him like he's a boy, right? But Kaepernick wasn't going for it. <laughs> Kaepernick bossed up. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what these companies do, whether it's the NFL, whether it's a tech company. You know, you have people in there who will blackball you because it happened to me. You know, and you have people within these organizations, they don't own a damn thing, but they want to act like they are the main person in charge and can be very vindictive, very vindictive. I've seen it. I have experienced it. They will make your life miserable and try to treat you like you're a doormat. Like you're nothing. So this doesn't even seem right because we all know how business operates, whether it's on a low level or a high level. There's always, that's what that conference room is for. They have their business meetings for discussions and they could have easily got in contact with his rep or himself directly and said, let's have a meeting. But no, they didn't do that. So that's one fault right there. One fault right there. But then Stephen A gets involved and wants to give his opinion, right? Colin Kaepernick has been working out all of this time. Him, people in this camp, his close ones, loved ones, everybody talking about he wants to play football. He wants to play football. He's ready to play. Just give him the chance. So what does the NFL do? Recognizing that teams need a shield because they need something to hide behind because they know that, guess what? If we bring this brother in for a workout and we don't like him or we don't want him, who knows what we're going to get accused of? We need cover. So the NFL provides that. I have no doubt Jay-Z is involved. I have no doubt Roger Goodell is involved. I have no doubt there's a host of people involved, but forget all of that. This man wanted the chance. 25 teams show up in Georgia at the Atlanta Falcons practice facility. State of our facility, NFL personnel, equipment, everything, video, everything. <laughs> and what does Colin Kaepernick do? Not Tuesday when he found out about it. Not Wednesday, not Thursday, not Friday, Saturday. Three hours. Before the workout, because of some issue with a liability <laughs> waiver, Colin Kaepernick wants to change the venue. Colin Kaepernick wants his own receivers. Colin Kaepernick wants to video things himself. 
Okay, let's stop it right here. Colin Kaepernick here. wants the media. This co Let's just tell Stephen A to... <laughs> uh, shut, shut up. <laughs> because Stephen A, you know what? That is the problem with some black men, right? They think that they have that slave mentality. Like, oh, oh, because we're black. Oh, we have to do things a different way. Oh, we have to we have to kneel down and bow down. Oh, my God, to keep our job and everything. Oh, no, we have to give, oh, 200%. No, I'm not giving 200% of nothing. I'm going to give 100% just like everybody else. Just because I'm black doesn't mean that, oh, I have to give 500%. I never thought that way. I'm going to give my 100% just like everybody else. So now you have Stephen A acting like, oh, Kaepernick, you know, oh my God, you have to give your 500%. You have to kneel down. You have, when he was blackballed for three years, when he didn't do anything wrong, but just took a knee. So here we go. Stephen A will get a black slap for sure. Now, not only Stephen A, but listen to this guy. Uh, from all of this, what is your biggest takeaway? Give his I'm opinion. disappointed with how Cap handled the situation. <laughs> I think everybody knows that's watched this show for the last three years, Skip. I've been one of Cap's biggest supporters. You and I talk, talked about Here this. Here we go again. I believe every single okay. day for about three or four months, when everybody else touched on it at the beginning and Here left the go. subject alone, you and I talked about it. I talked to Cap. I knew how much he wanted to get back into the league. Mm -hmm. And I even coined a term. I said, coined a term. Mm -hmm. I said, Cap has been white ball. <laughs> that has not changed. But the way he handled this situation, Skip, now, he knew that he received this on a very short notice. Mm -hmm. He could have said, there you know. There we go. Let's I, stop it right here because I don't have a lot of time to hear all that negativity. But we're going to tell him also to. <laughs> Shut up. Because we can, here we go, another black person giving their opinion on somebody else's shit. Why not just let Kaepernick handle it and see what happens? Because we all know that you never know what the NFL is going to do because the NFL is all about money. Do not bring your black experience into this situation because believe me Kaepernick has white lawyers <laughs> and believe me he's getting good guidance so whatever move he made believe me his lawyers know about it and his lawyers probably already told him these are shenanigans that they're playing <laughs> so you know what the only people that's going to get it <laughs> A black slap is Stephen A. And I believe the other guy's name is Skip. The two black guys are going to get black slaps because what they should do is be quiet and let Kaepernick handle his own business because he's the one who's going to have to live with it and deal with it. And he does have lawyers. So <laughs> we're going to get the Baltimore black slap. <laughs> to Stephen A.